Welcome everyone, Farmer Cop here. This is gonna be a new mod map tour of the Newton's Hedge. Um, there are two versions of this out on the Mod Hub. This one is for all platforms, the one I am on. Um, there is also another one on there for PC and Mac only. Um, I believe it's just multi-terrain angle is the difference. I could be wrong, there could be a couple other differences, but they should be essentially the same map. Um, this is by Design Farming, Tina Inc. and Serial Modding 88 and uh, Ditch FS. It is 179.32 megabytes to download. And again, this is the one for all platforms. Um, I'm gonna read the description. We're gonna go ahead and jump into it. It says, welcome to the Newton's Hedge, an emblematic, an emblematic, there we go, that's the word, emblematic map of Farming Simulator uh, 2013. It returns as original. Here would find you 62 fields and meadows, three farms, one biogas plant, seven forests, 10 outlets, animal dealer collectibles, added new pallet, modification of the RTM, have fun on the Newton's Hedge. Um, now there may be some translation things in there as well. Um, required mods, it has seven listed, the Emily Pack, Stone Walls, Silo Farmer Tam Tambora 30, the Grimmy Pack, Metal Shed, Lizard Cutting Cart, and Silo Lizard. Those will all download automatically if you download this from the in-game mod hub. But let's go ahead and hop in it and take a look here. So we hop in the map. What we have starting out is chunk 60, two and 41. So a little field there, field there, field there, and then kind of our starting farm area there. Like the BGA's up over there. So different productions and various things around the map as you would expect. Uh, shops right there. Got the animal dealer down there and a huge, is that got potatoes in it? Oh my goodness, yes it does. And a huge field of potatoes down there. Um, there you go. Um, everything in here appears standard. I don't think there's any added crops or anything. Oh, there's beet molasses. So we'll probably want to take a look at my special place for that or to deal with that. It might be at the sugar mill as well, would be my guess. So we'll purchase the sugar mill. I bet that's where you get beet molasses from. Um, but continuing on, we have several pieces of equipment starting out. We'll take a look at that stuff in the garage. Um, we have $100,000 in new farm mode, no starting loan. We do own a cow barn and chicken coop starting out. There are contracts in the fields you do not own. Um, no production chain starting out, and there are 20 collectibles to be found. I'm going to turn that off, and I'm going to turn that off there. Uh, so, yeah, let's take a look at our starting equipment here. Go to garage. Uh, we have a John Deere 6120M. We have a Fent 724 Vario and a Massey Ferguson MF7719S. We also have a Kloss Treon 720 Harvester, and we have headers for that here. We have a Kloss uh, Combio Flex header there for it. Um, oh, jeez. The thing is starting to freeze a little bit. Um, this is the cutter cart. It's not really designed for that. I don't think. Yeah, but no, it is. Yeah, yeah that's the header trailer for that. That's one of the in installed mods or the required mods there. Um, a lot of the mods actually were equipment, which was kind of interesting. Not all of them, but some of them were. So it was interesting. We also have the JCB 54170 Agri Pro. We have a pickup truck and a John Deere XUV starting out. Um, we have an AgriLiner MUK303 trailer. We have a potato planter, which is interesting to start out with that. Small plow, small cultivator, small disc harrow, small power harrow, a couple of cedar setups here. That's a seed cart. And we also have a uh, cedar itself. So we have those. Planter, we have the, the KUHN Maxima 3 till. We have a roller here, the Dalvo Power Roll 1230. We also have a sprayer set up. We have fertilizer spreader, does not do lime. We have a small weeder. We have a mower there. We have a tether. We have a windrower, a lot of equipment starting out. Big old baler by Fent. We have a TMR mixer. And uh, this guy right here is, I believe, a straw, has a straw blower there. And we have a water tank in there. Front loader attachment, which we can actually see outside on our uh, John Deere. Then we have a universal bucket, manure fork, and a big bag lifter. For telehandler, we have a pallet fork, universal bucket, and bell fork. We're going to look at the header trailer. Then we have a um, just kind of a trailer right there, just a little flatbed trailer. So a lot of stuff around here. If we go in here, we have a nice, if I can get in there, a nice little house. We can sleep there if we'd like to. We can change in here if we'd like to as well. We got all that set up for us. Goes out to the garage, it looks like. There we go, where our truck's at. Turn the map on down there. That goes out towards the, the road around there. Looking good. We got JCB back there. Some of our stuff is hooked up and set to go. Another way out there. A lot of good storage. Plenty of equipment on this farm, that's for sure. We have a fuel tank, which is empty right now. More equipment parked in there. Equipment there, and we have, holy smokes, 
We have a lot of bags of seeds starting out, which is really surprising, and some solid fertilizer. So yeah, we're starting out with a lot of stuff actually back there, which is nice. This is almost like a little apartment for maybe a worker or something like that. I like kind of a nice little feature. Over here, what do we have right here? Chicken coop. There we go. Chicken coop, 150 chickens right there if you'd like to. Uh, the eggs should spawn, I think, up and down on there. So there you go. And that's where you dump your food in for them. Um, on the other side here, so you can see that's kind of all the stuff over over on this side here. So we're going to take a look at this side now. Harvesters over here. We have more storage. Or plow. Or plow tucked away there. More space through here. This kind of looks like a... Oh, look at that. I like that. A wash shed there. And here we have... This one can do herbicide. Liquid fertilizer. I'm assuming this one's probably the same thing as well. Yep, herbicide and liquid fertilizer. Look in here. No, we haven't taken a look in there yet. We have a silo right here for us. On the other side here, I'm assuming this is like storage. Yeah, some storage through there. And I'm assuming this is going to be our cows right over there. Or our cows in here. No, nope, that's just more storage in there. Storage there. Storage. Lots of storage. Plenty of storage on this farm, that's for sure. More storage. And then here are our cows. So I'm not sure where we put them in. Probably the... Oh, no, right there. There we are. 75 cows. Fantastic. And as we loop back around this way, more storage, of course, typical. And a couple of nice bunker cells right there. So that is pretty much... This guy's kind of interesting. He's set up over there. It's a big header, too, for us. But, uh, yeah, so a good-looking farm area. Um... I like it quite a bit. We do own this field right out here. This one, and then obviously we own this big one over there. But uh, what we're going to do is we're going to hop in a pickup truck. And then we are going to go ahead and do a little bit of a drive around, and then we'll do a flyover at the very end just to kind of get a look at the map and a good feel for it. So we are right here, obviously, at the farm. I think what we're going to do... I think we'll head out and go around and kind of hit all that, and I think this will hit on the flyover. I think that's what we'll do. Um, to try to hit everything we can. Yeah, I think that'll be a good, good plan. That was not good there. Head across here. This field on the left-hand side, that's the one we own starting out as well. I'll zoom us out a little bit so we can get a little bit better view of what's going on. Sorry, pedestrians. Sorry, pedestrians. Um, right back here, it looks like we got the supermarket sell point. We can confirm that, though, here. Yep, supermarket in the center, and then around the corner we have the center cheese dairy. Which I see right there. A lot of traffic on here. There's the center cheese dairy. We should be able to Yeah, we should be able to keep following this around. Up and out this way. A little traffic through here. Around here, it's kind of a nifty map. I didn't play uh, Farming Simulator 2013 very much, so I don't have a context for this map. I don't remember the map, but some of you guys might be just kind of in some nostalgia here, and this might be the perfect map for you because you were playing on it a lot in the past. So if that's the case, that's awesome. I love it. Down here, we have ourselves the BGA. Big BGA, tucked away back here. Stop hitting things. Big old storage facility there as well. A couple of digesters, a couple of big bunker silos. Loop out of here now. We can. There we go. Perfect. Just going to cut across over here just to save a little bit of time. Yeah, we'll head out this way. This will take us to more stuff on the side of the map. We'll take a look at all that stuff. And then we will do, again, we'll do a nice little flyover to get a look at everything. We do need to figure out where that uh, beet molasses is being made. I have a good feeling I know where it's at, but we'll see. All right here we have the spinnery. And then here we have the sugar mill, which I'm suspicious is going to be responsible for her beet molasses. So we're going to purchase this guy just to take a look at that. Do we have enough money? We do. Perfect. 
Um, no. Interesting. Okay, so we may. Very interesting. Beet molasses. Well, it doesn't say there's a selling point available for it. So let's see. What other kind of uh, places we have in here? Oil mill, bakery, sawmill. Can't imagine it's part of the BGA. It could be completely wrong. It could be part of the dairy, I guess. Yeah, I'm a little, uh, I'm a little flabbergasted by it. I'm not sure where that's coming from. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what you do with that. Let me know down in the comments if there's something easy I'm missing here. But uh, where is my truck? There's my truck. We do have the store actually as well, right back over here. We'll loop around just so we can take a look at that. That's kind of an important one. She should build it. Yep, there we go. Just into there. Just like that. Easy peasy. Here we have the store. And you have a repair trigger right out front as well. And actually, if we go by looking here. Yeah, we'll probably want to head up around that way. So we'll take it right here to head up that way. No collisions on the little uh, post there, which is nice. All right, so here, we have a couple things going on. We have our, this is actually just our sawmill. Yep, just our sawmill right here. Nice little sawmill setup right there. Cut back across through here. Cut around this way. Pretty tight roads through here for some areas, um, it seems like. But for the most part, there's plenty of space. Definitely good detail on the map. I'm not sure how some of you will feel about the kind of pavement slab roads, but I don't mind them. I think there's something a little bit different than what we're used to. Some odd shaped, unworker friendly fields, that's for sure, but all right. All right, left hand side here, we have ourselves, excuse me, right hand side. Jeez, I'm crazy. Right hand side, bakery. Left hand side, off the side, we have a lizard silo, uh, which is right back there in the back. Where are we at here? We need to go over there and take a look at. Uh, that stuff as well. So I think we're going to need to take that corner there. There we go. Loop up this way first. And again, not a crazy huge map or anything like that. Um, yeah, nothing crazy big. Jeez. I, oh, there's a fence there. I was like, I thought I missed that tree, and I did. I hit the fence. Well, that'll do it as well. All right, so around here. Cell point right here. That is going to be our Ditch Agricultural Cooperative. We have up here, right around here. We have ourselves a bulk input purchase. And on the right-hand side, we have the oil mill right there, which I think there's a fence that goes all the way. There it is, all the way through that. And this thing is surrounded by fences. Good gravy. They do not want you to be able to get out of here once you're in here. That's for sure. They want you to take a road. Can't even believe it. <laughs> uh, we'll head back out this way. There we go. All right. Back to freedom. All right. Um, head back down into where we were at over here. So we can head down and take a look at the last little chunk of area we need to take a look at. The roads are very windy. I will say that. And right-hand side here, this little fenced-in field, that is our field starting out right there. So you can bring your grass equipment over here and do some grass work if you'd like to. Oh, that was a that was a real bad head on there. All right, last couple of things, just up over here on the right-hand side, other than what we just have to take a look at. I said I'd take a look at on the flyover. So right here. We have ourselves the West Lime Station and the Westfield Cooperative Sell Point right in there. Um, and then just down the way, the Livestock Market and the Livestock Market Sell Point. Let's see if we can head down this way here. Yep, Livestock Market and then Livestock Market Sell Point right there. There we go. Hop out, do a flyover. So that's pretty straightforward. That stuff's all outside of it. Um, this field is big potato field that's inside of it. Um, otherwise, it looks good. A little water feature there. Down here, we didn't take a look at this stuff, but um, down over here, again, we have the Eastfield Cooperative, East Lime Station, 
We have the debris crusher and the sale of fruits of the earth. So a lot of different little sell points uh, packed into there. Um, there we go. More of the town through there. Good looking map though, I like it. BJ up here tucked away in the forest. Over here we have a starting farm, big starting farm actually, especially for the size of the map, I think. And then last couple of things over here. You can see most of it from just anywhere up here. So there you guys go. That is uh, Newton's Hedge or the Newton's Hedge. If you guys enjoyed this video, please drop a like down below. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button up on the screen to join the Farmer Cop channel and turn your notification bell so you don't miss any future videos I may post. This has been Farmer Cop. Thank you guys for coming and for watching.